contact for that? I'm sorry? I mean, you didn't ask me if you can film me. I'm not comfortable with you doing that. I gotta ask if I can film? Yeah, you're filming me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you would have to ask. That's a privacy ask. It's, 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 hold an oath that you I'm, swore I'm, to I'm, take? I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I mean, this is a this is a is a public office. Have a good day. Office. I asked you a nice. Are we being first of are all, we being trespassed? I, I asked you nicely. For a public leave. place. Right. So now you're in my off. You're in this office. Well, I'm in the people's office. In in this office that has records in here. I don't see any records. But well, first of all, we're not here. You don't records. know. You don't know what. Secondly, you're for. it's your it's your okay. But I answered your privacy. question. Department of Veterans Services. You well, I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate that you're being rude. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye. You're very welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. You know, I, I'm, to... I'm very, I'm very confused by your behavior, ma'am. It's a public office, right? Oh. Yeah. Well, no. Why are you filming me? Why are you doing yes. that? Yes. It's, it's a... All would be the Veterans Affairs Office because oh, one of many. The, 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 oh, okay. Uh, are you coming oh, Come, on in. Come on in. Back to my desk. Um. Yeah. One of them also said that you might have walked in the bathroom with her. No. So she was a little... If she, did, if she did that, then what I would have to do is show you my entire footage and then pursue charges for filing a false police report. And then I would have to do a FOIA request for the 911 call. And I really don't want to make a veteran look bad because she looked bad enough not understanding that public photography is acceptable. That's right, guys. No word of a lie. Not only does the Veterans Affair Officer, who's actually a veteran, have no idea that the First Amendment exists or what's entailed in it, they actually called the police and filed a false report to try and say we were filming inside the bathroom, when obviously video proved to this cop that we didn't. So that's why you'll see brief interruptions, because every time we catch him in a lie, we show the video. Shame, Wellesley, shame. What's going on, guys? We're at the Wellesley Town Hall in Wellesley, Massachusetts, conducting a First Amendment audit. It looks more like a castle than a town hall, but let's take a look. National Register of Historic Places. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. It smells so nice in here. Thank you. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Very beautiful. Was this always a town hall or was this something before that? I think it might have been a library. A library. Okay. Nice building. Thank yeah. you. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at the cop in this place. What's on there? Check the other side of that door. Make sure it doesn't say employees only. It does not. In this office? Yes. Hello. Is the veteran service director in? Um, she's deployed. But she's I deployed. Have, yeah, is okay. There anything I can help you with? Um, do you know who we would contact for? Um, not for your city hall, but if we wanted to, we were at a city hall and they completely desecrated the POW. Mm -hmm. Um and we wanted to see who we would contact to complain mm -hmm. about that to see if they could offer some yeah. assistance. So can I help you? Yeah. Where is that? Do you know who we contact for that? I'm sorry? I, I mean, you didn't ask me if you can film me. I'm not comfortable with you doing that. I gotta ask if I can film? Yeah, you're filming me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you would have to ask. That's a privacy ask. Me it's, as a veteran, if I'm a veteran, there's something's going on. Ma'am, oh, you're a veteran? Yes, I am. Okay, I thank you for your service, and I, I'm, I'm surprised that we're having this conversation. Firstly, foremost, as you can tell, I obviously support uh, our country and our military, but as a veteran, you understand that the First Amendment is the freedom of press, the right to peaceably right. assemble, redress your grievances. So we're in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. There's no privacy act that limits a public venue, which this is. Right. So, so in, but the veteran is a little bit different with the volume of population because of what I do here. You're in my office. There's stuff out here. So. Well, I mean, that's that's not created by a privacy act either because there's no expectation of privacy okay. in public. I'm not comfortable with you filming me because I could be, I could be a domestic violence person. I'm not comfortable. It's a veteran's office, ma'am. I mean... Me. Me. You're filming me. Correct? But what would that have to do with me 
coming because in here I'm to in seek here. assistance on an issue. So what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing with that. With that, it video. doesn't matter what I'm doing with okay, it. Okay, so you know what? Let me assist you by saying I do not want to be taped, and because I do not want to be taped, you're not allowing me my First Amendment right, whatever right that I do have, that I do not want to be filmed. Wait, so you have a First Amendment right to not be filmed? Listen, I said I do not want to be filmed. Period. Okay. Well, I mean, unfortunately, you're in public. And I'm surprised, like, you are a veteran. And we love veterans. I'm surprised you didn't, you don't know that. Okay. So, you know? like I said, if you can't abide by my rules by me saying I do not want to be filmed. I abide by, ma'am, you, you swore an oath to defend and uphold the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I know that very well myself, okay? So, the, there is no, like, First Amendment privilege that you have that restricts the First Amendment privilege we have. I'm surprised, to be honest with you, that we're having this conversation Me too. Me too. as a veteran. And as you, as somebody who supports veterans or supports military members, and I I'm do. People you, that paid the ultimate, sa vet, that paid the ultimate veteran, sacrifice to make sure we have these to, rights. Not to film, yeah. didn't, but you, didn't still you are doing Didn't you that. serve in the military to defend our <clears throat> right to free press? Did you, sir? No, I didn't. Okay, so then how can I help you? What do you need? Well, well the same reason I came in here. I was asking what oversight committee if there is any in the state that oversees uh, prisoner, of war, prisoner of war MIA flags or seats that are normally protected in each city hall, reserving the seats for the folks that didn't make it back, who would contact if there the was a city hall? The Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the De Department of Veterans Services, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Okay, and where would I con? Are they at the state, the state, the state capitol? Like, do they, do you, are you aware if they have, like, an office? Like, we would find them? A, they do have the office. Okay. I mean, like, if you were able to get off your phone and just Google department... Ma'am, if you were able to lose phone your phone. attitude and, and literally the literally attitude. uphold Listen, the I'm, note that I'm, you swore I'm, to I'm, take... I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Have a good I mean, day. this is a, a, this is a, this is a public office. Have a good office. day. I asked you nicely, are we being, first Are we all, being trespassed? I, I asked you nicely. From a public easily, place? Right. So now you're in my office. You're in this office. Well, I'm in the people's office. In, in this office that has records in here. I don't see any records. I mean, first of all, we're not here you don't records. know. You don't know what you're Secondly, looking Secondly, it's your... It's your okay, but I answered your privacy. question. Department of Veterans Services. You well, I don't appreciate I don't appreciate that you're being rude. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye. You're very welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm very, I'm very confused by your behavior, ma'am. It's a public office, right? Thank you. It's a public office, right? Goodbye. Thank you. I'm not gonna. You're I mean, trespass. I'll take the trespass. I'll take the ride. I'll take the case right now. Okay. Call the police. This Call is a, a public office. That's how, like, the like th this is incredible that there's city offices that still treat people like that. Now I'd like to speak. We're going to have to find out where human this resources is. This is a tax collector right here. It was open before. Excuse me, hi. Um, where is human resources? Second floor. Se second floor. Okay. Now, does the Veterans Affairs Office, does that fall under the jurisdiction of the, the human resources, or does that fall under the jurisdiction of the state? She's here. No, no, I just met her. She was very, very rude to us. So that's why we're seeking to speak to so Veterans Affairs. Really sure okay, where is the where is the um, uh, Human Resources and Town Administrator's and Office? Select board is on the third. Okay, and would I get a town would I get a uh, records request form from you or from the administrator's office? For this office, you could have it from here. Well, no, I would, I would like, like it you for. Veterans Affairs, but I could probably just get it from this office, I then mean, fill it out and turn it in. If you want, if you want, we can have one. Yeah, that's fine. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name's Diane. Diane, very nice of you. Um, could I please borrow one of your pens, if you would not mind terribly? I'll make sure you get it back. Whatever one you want. You Thank you so much. You're I'm gonna pause, guys, while I fill out a quick records request. All right. So here's our public records record request form. So I just wrote employment contract and personnel record of acting veterans affair female employee. Where to send it? That's the email. I don't know. Is some... veterans or... Yeah, the, the veterans affair employee. So all I'm looking for is the employment contract and or personnel record for the young lady that's there now. So I wrote. So I would take this to HR then. That would be my suggestion. To HR. Which is on, okay. Which is on the second floor. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. 
Apparently, I believe the police have been called. So, we'll meet them when they get here. Right now, I need to go to the Human Resources Office on the second floor. There you go. How about this one? There you go. Close. Close. All right, let's see if we can find Human Resources. I feel like this is not Human Resources. All right, this is the information office. How do we get to human resources? Hello. Can you tell me how to get to human resources, please? If you go to this door over here in the right-hand corner. Okay. And uh, go down a half level. Uh, they're on the second floor at the end of the hall on the right. We skipped a floor. Okay, thank you. Cool. What floor is this, sir? Okay. All right, so this little stairway right here. Okay. I found it. So you're going on a half level? This brought us right back to where we were. Wait a second. They have a change off so we can't go to the second floor. No. Do you know how to get to human resources? Me. Human resources? I tried those stairs, but I couldn't. They went up to the H floor. They're on the H floor? They're not on the H floor. No, no, that's what I mean. We couldn't find the Are stairs for it. Is it those stairs? Second floor. You can take the elevator. There's an elevator. There's an elevator right over here. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, exactly what I said. They're going to change for a second. Seems like everyone's in the phone with the police because we're doing this. Here we go. Elevator. And that's the Veterans Affairs office. I was blown away. She said she was a veteran. Oh, there's the stairway. Duh. Yeah. Human resources. Oh, perfect. Someone's looking for human resources. I am. I have some paper. Is it? Are you human resources? Um, human, yeah, I can. Be. Excellent. I have. You can be whatever you would like today. We're we're happy for. Um, I was told by the city clerk to pass this public records request in to you. Okay. Is that, am I in the right place? You are. Okay, perfect. Um, I was not Sorry, able I to get, <laughs> no, you're fine. I was not able to get the young lady's name in the Veterans Affairs Office. She did tell me that she was acting, someone else was on deployment. Right. So I just wanted to see if we could get the personnel record and uh, employment contract yeah. if there is one. Just you come and chat. For a good citizen? Oh, yeah, no, that's the name I'm using for the public records request form. Employment contract of acting veteran affairs employee. Employee. Because I don't know her name. She wouldn't give us her name. But it's the young lady that's working there now. Or just like the employment contract um, and personnel. She's under a contract. Oh. Yeah, well, no. Why are you filming me? Why are you doing yes. that? It's, it's okay. Yeah, I know. I just don't like to be on camera. We're I just, fix my makeup. No, you, you, you look great. You look wonderful. I, we, we think you're awesome. Um, it's fine. Uh, so, well, that, that's what I'm asking. Like, we couldn't uh, get much information. So if she's no longer in service and she's working for the city as a former veteran, like sometimes as an employment contract, if she's not, if she's active. No, she's an active employee. Okay, perfect. Then just the personnel record would be fine. Uh, I can't give you her personnel record without redacting a lot of information. No, whatever you need to redact, of course, you know, you have the ability to redact whatever you feel is um, adverse to privacy protection or, or exactly. security. I understand, understand that. that. Okay. Of course, 100%. Whatever needs to be redacted needs to be redacted. I'd just like to get uh, as much as I can so we can document it, so on and so forth. Okay. That'd be great. How you doing? Good, good. How What's going on, man? Not much. How you doing? How you doing, right? doing Sarge? Yeah. Hanging in there? Good, good. We just, obviously, you know why we just got a call. But yeah, I assumed. The guys with cameras? Yeah. We we're very, we we're very, very surprised of all of all places, like, because like, and I know some people like come at you guys that crazy and try to get these big reactions, right? Sure, sure. Like, so I was surprised of all places with people that are kind of like more chill like us that the place that would call would be the Veterans Affairs Office, because oh, one of many. The, 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 oh, okay. Uh, are you come, on, sorry, come, on in. come on in. Back to my desk. Um, yeah. One of them also said you might have walked in the bathroom with her. No. So she was a little if she did, that. if she did that, 
then what I would have to do is show you my entire footage and then pursue charges for filing a false police report. And then I would have to do a FOIA request for the 911 call. And I really don't want to make a veteran look bad because she looked bad enough not understanding that public photography is acceptable. Us, but some, 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 but some, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to... I'm gonna, let him roll. I'm going to show you, fast forward through my camera of our about a minute and a half that we were in that office, and then I think that we might need to pursue some, some uh, you know, false informing, because that's a, that, this is a crime. I'm going to pause real quick, guys. As you can see, what was alleged, thank you, clearly did not happen. Uh, Sergeant Taras Tarasquillo? Correct. Oh, I'm not butchering names today. I usually do. So, like, now what do we do? Like, she just called in a, a false report to the police department and, and accused us of... Because obviously, public photography, you know, there's limited public forums. There's time constraints on the Constitution, like bathrooms. So seeing a full video that's unedited that just saw right now, she, she called it a false call. So what do we do about that? I didn't say it was her. Oh, okay. Someone different. Well, you just saw the whole video. But besides, I, I didn't see the whole video. You scrolled through it. But I'm, I'm not here to split hairs with you. I'm just saying someone said that, right? Regardless. It, yeah. That's not very nice of them to lie to the police. Hey, I, <laughs> what can we help? Can I help you? With I don't even else? know the bathrooms oh. are here. Um, no, we were, we were doing our thing. We were told that filming here is is uh, oops is illegal uh, or unlawful, and we were violating a privacy act that I'm not sure has been passed by Congress or they've even heard about it yet. Sure, sure. But um, you're the public information officer. I is am. how it, filming is Ill, is illegal in the town hall? I think without permission in advance. I think we just oh. needed to know that that's what you were going to be doing. Understand. So, so, uh, 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 well, I don't think so she's aware. I'm not an attorney, so I probably stuff. can't. Well, no, I just want to, I just want to understand that. So as long as there's per, like without permission, it's not allowed. For individuals, I think you probably need to politely ask oh. me. We film you. I, Sergeant, I mean, what do you think? Uh, if we, are we allowed to be in here without permission filming, Sergeant Karaskia? I think you can come in and film, but, you know, if, if someone, I, like the woman downstairs asks you to stop, I mean, you know. I, I mean, I then, then we come to the crossroads of what is, what we have the right to do and what might, what some people might think is, is right to do. We're not here to debate what, you know, of course. Like, no one's alleging you guys did anything wrong, right? We're just here to... Someone called, said there was uh, somewhat of a disturbance, so we came up to see what's going on. Everything's all good. We're going to leave. That's perfect. I, I appreciate it. And if you could just let folks know, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm going to give you my card that, because you know, if you do need anything, especially well, thank if you, you wanted to come and Stephanie. do more filming or anything, you can certainly reach out to me at any time, and I'm happy to be there. When we have cameras in the building, and we, do, we have had cameras before, we just like to let our departments know, especially individuals who may not be used to having somebody with a camera in the building. So it's more of just a personal courtesy than anything else. There's no real Yeah, well, that's the reality. reason, we, we, to be honest, the reason that we don't give people a heads up is because we want to gauge... Um, people's respect for the constitution and for our lawful rights right like some people and i, I i'm aware, I, I don't know but i'm sure that either of you fine officers from the town of wellesley have seen some of these videos and people don't normally act like myself they yell and scream we don't do that because we would like to be informative at the same time as have our rights respected so you know you didn't get one of those guys you got us if you could just let folks know that if they see the camera like you guys got cameras in here you know we're in and out if the how you doing today? Nice to meet you. We're on our way. Um, this is nothing to be uh, afraid of. Sure. And I appreciate it. Absolutely. You've been very helpful. Mo mostly just because we, we sort of wanted to let people know that, oh, yeah, they shouldn't be afraid. Right. It's just not something, especially because we're all still sort of back after the pandemic. We want to make sure that, you know, of course. People, some people are sensitive as to people in the building right. that they're not used to seeing. So I'm with all. you. I get no it. Problem. Thank you we very appreciate much. You being very kind. But everybody here is above. 35 so everybody here remembers what it like what life was like before the pandemic right so they do although they some do. people have started working here after the pandemic as well and as you can see we still have you know um ppe up just to protect some of our employees who may be more vulnerable to we you know we're okay. just here to, to flex our rights and not have our free speech chilled that's the only thing we're, we're good to go sure. no one wants to do that good to go i appreciate it thank you sergeant yes. Is there anything else we can help you with? Today? No, we're probably just going to walk, walk around. I need to check up and see if we have a... Oh, that's exactly yeah, what I was looking for. Can I just uh, give this to you in a few days? I don't have it readily available right now. Oh, the request? Yeah, you have yeah. up to nine days. Ten to, days. Ten days, yeah. uh, uh, business days to get back to us. So take your time. Okay. It's in no rush. All right, perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Right, yeah, guys. so we're probably just going to check out, um, I think there's one office we didn't see. We're probably just going to check out the other office, and then we'll be we'll be on our way. Okay. That's Thanks fine. very much. Thank you.
Yeah, some of our offices are people work remotely, so we would, see, would not see people in all of it. Actually, office. you know what? We went upstairs, so we are all done. Do we went to H building? Thank you. Okay. Yep, Thank you. we already saw that one. All right, Stephanie, have a great day. Thank you, you too. See, that, that's the men's room. So the only interaction we have with the women, so there would be no other bathroom for us to go to. I think that's funny. Is there a women's room even around here? I don't know. Where is it? In the hallway? When I went to go to the clerk's office while you were in the Oh, I don't, I don't know where it is. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, that's what happened. So uh, that, that's interesting, though, right? Like, we're just flexing our freedoms. We're out here filming. We're not breaking the law. And uh, it seems like an employee called and said we were filming in the bathroom, which you can see why that video is not the case, and we've never done that. So false informing is a crime. So they committed a crime to get someone... They committed a crime to get a police officer to respond to a non-crime. Yeah. Two male adults are on the first floor following employees around, recording on their cell phones. One of them followed an individual into the bathroom. Oh no, what a lie. Oh my God, we have phones, why would they lie? Uh, second call from Nancy, veterans agent, with a phone number posted, states that those male parties are filming and harassing employees. Describe them as heavy set white males, that's true. One with red and white and one with a black shirt. We are heavy set, that's true. <laughs> wow. Yo, what a liar. Wait, who was the first person? Uh, Nancy? Bianca. You need a complaint on Nancy. See, this makes it super easy because we're able to get much more information because the police normally don't uh, so close their screen. Um, me for oh no! Careful, it's, it's dangerous on these Wellesley streets. <laughs> Yo guys, this is crazy. So this thing got a plate read on it. It's on the, it's on the this one. He's a plate reader. Check me out, right? That's nice, gonna. Since this officer is being nice and giving this gentleman a jump, I'm not going to give him a ticket today for failure to utilize his uh, seatbelt. And there'll be no uh, unmarked lane changes, even though he didn't use his directional coming in. Oh, he's not helping with the jump? We might have to issue a ticket. I think, I think Officer Lucente has to get back to her vehicle and, and pull that young man over. Well, I guess you, you can't pull him over for not wearing a seatbelt because that's a secondary offense. It would have to be a primary offense, right? So would the failure to mark a lane change be uh, the primary offense or does he get a pass because he's a cop? What do you think, officer? No, does he get a pass because he's a police officer? No, that's not how that works. All right, so are you going to pull him over and give him a ticket? I was dealing with someone. Well, I got it on film if you need it. Uh, so unmarked lane change, failure to mark a lane change, and then the seatbelt violation. And obviously seatbelt isn't primary, it's secondary, but. Right, so you guys said you guys were all set inside, right? Yeah, well, we just wanted to, we just wanted to now follow up on this. Okay, that's, the supervisor is still inside if you guys want to talk. Oh, he's right there. Uh, how's that plate reader work? 
Sergeant, do you give uh, tickets to police officers if they break traffic laws? I mean, it depends on the situation. Like unmarked lane changes, failure to wear a seatbelt. Uh, to anybody does those things. Oh, I do. We just saw uh, an officer pull through that, that didn't have uh, time to use a directional or utilize a safety belt. We tried to remind him to be helpful, uh, and he still felt that it was probably unnecessary. I'd be wondering to find out if I can do a Freedom of Information Act request, find out how many tickets or citations he's given for failed lane changes or for seatbelt violations, and then see if, if, it's, if it's right that he's giving out tickets for something that he's doing himself. I just... And that's, I'm not trying to be confrontational. I just think that if we have a badge and we have the ability to give someone a ticket that could affect their license points, that the same, you know, be, they be upheld to the same standards, if not higher than the citizens. So, you know? must go up, like, pretty rapidly, right? like, like, so I'm class, sorry, what was your question? So is there going to be some recourse where you have a chat with them, just let them know to drive oh, properly like in traffic, maybe give them a warning? Do you know, I don't know who it was. Yeah, I can show you. Thank you much. Thank you. Okay. Have a great right. day. You as well. Appreciate you being courteous. I would say next time, I didn't get any personal information. I, I, I withheld the phone number that's on the screen, but I would suggest that you guys close out your screens because I got super Zoom. I can see everything on there. Okay. And I like obviously, once I saw that there was someone's phone number listed on it, mm -hmm. I did not record that. So okay. we're, we're professional enough to not release people's information, that's but cool. that's in public, you know what I mean? Plain view sure, doctrine. Yeah. Oh, I just don't point. want anyone's information to get, get put out there. That. Absolutely. Have a great day. Have right. a great day. Yeah, Take care, well. Sergeant. Nice you, Thank you. Nice to meet you. And that's the reason I stopped today. Let's see if he buckles up. Oh, Officer Lucenta doesn't have a seatbelt. We just talked about the seatbelt. Sarge, seatbelt. I'm just. Okay. Seatbelt. Do you have a seatbelt on? Oh, perfect. Let's see. Oh, yes, yeah, seatbelt. Great job. We're driving safely today. That's all we're here to do. No name's not giving out any tickets today. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to put a complaint on the lady that said that we went to the bathroom, that we didn't go to the bathroom. I'd like to have a criminal charge first against her, but apparently no one's going to charge that. No. I just want to let you know uh, what retaliation looks like. After filming that, the cops are now all posted up trying to get our plates. Go straight. I want to, I want to do that. Remember I wanted to do that? Because I wonder if she's...